So you've gained attention, you've introduced your thesis, established your credibility, related your topic to the audience. You've got one more step left to create the ideal introduction. That is, you need to preview your main points. As we've discussed before, each speech should have two to five main points. I recommend three. And you need to, at the end of your introduction, give your audience a roadmap of what points you'll be covering in your speech. Audiences, much like me, much like you, much like everyone, like to know what comes next. Or think of this analogy. You are going on a car ride with someone, they're driving, and they don't tell you where you're going or when you're getting there. I bet like most kids, you are asking, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? What you want to avoid in your speeches is your audience asking, are we there yet? You want to give them a clear roadmap at the end of your introduction. Today I'm going to talk to you about X, Y, and Z. And then you go right into the X, the first topic or your main point. This will help the audience know when you've gone through X and you go through Y that the last point is remaining and as you finish that, their attention's gonna spike because they know it's almost over. I know that sounds harsh, but it's actually the psychology of it. And giving your audience that roadmap will help them to better understand and comprehend your message. So let's review those five steps, the magic formula for an ideal introduction. Step one, gain attention. Step two, introduce your thesis to your audience. Step three, relate your topic to your audience. Step four, establish your credibility. And step five, preview your main points. If you're looking for more ideas on public speaking, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Dr. Sunny.